Hey guys, I'm LB, and I hit that stupid rock again. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, so we're back playing the Talos Principle Road to Gehenna DLC. And, uh, I was trying to get to the, uh, the, the red laser thing between the purple sizzlers again. But I hit that stupid rock again. Ah, uh, every time. Okay, let's go back up there. Because this puzzle over here, the one we were just in, uh, Harmony, I think it was called, it has a red laser in it. I wanna see how I need to get this situated to work. Alright. to stand in just the right area for the assisted jumps to appear. This is the rock. Let's go around it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh yeah, so... Last time, I was thinking I could jump to there? No, there's <laughs> no way I could jump to get to that star, and clearly, that's not what we ended up doing anyway. So, here we are, we're almost there. Ta-da! Okay. It looks like... Given the right angle... Yeah, so it's like right against there, right? That also has red lasers. Now see, this side has slightly lower... Like, it's almost intended, it feels like. But we'll try this side first. Oh, it's- oh, it's black. That's, uh... There we go, now it's white. Okay. Let's get down there. And, uh, oh. We still need to find a way to get that star. I'm not sure about that. But, we'll get to that when we get to that. Alright, let's get going. Yes, Harmony, okay. Um, because I had to reset the puzzle, yeah, 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 okay, so. We need to get the... connector again. Ta-da! We got the connector. It's like magic. Oops. Duh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. And... oops. What am I doing? Alright. So I notice there's a fence above there, so... First of all, we want to figure out where... I thought I caught it for a moment there. Where exactly is it? I don't remember.
Whoa! That, that was unexpected. I like how I can just almost get up here. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Let's see, I'll put this back here again. It'll be like a beacon, I guess. And I'll put this just in case, you know, magic or something. I gotta sync these guys up. And who knows, maybe I even have to do something with that, but... For now, let's just go up there and see what we can do. Oh no! Exactly what I didn't want to happen. How about we just walk? Walking is lovely. Except when running is faster sometimes. It's actually really far away. Whoa, what the? Huh? Come on! Jeez. <laughs> well, that was not fun. Okay, but where is it? There. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, so it's there-ish. And I'm thinking that's not the way to do this. Okay, let's just go to that other puzzle. Stop wasting time. I never saw a man who looked with such a wistful eye upon that little tint of blue which prisoners call the sky, and every drifting cloud that went with sails of silver by. So this is the one with the turret. That's what I was thinking of. Ah, those could be decoded, but I'm too lazy. Okay, so we want to move... the, uh, the laser thing to the other side where I said it had that little lip missing. So we gotta go all the way up.
Alright. So, the puzzle's there, right? Oops. Yeah, this little lip here. We can see the person there walking, and we can see the turret. There's definitely red lasers in that puzzle. I have a feeling... ...that we'll want to get... ...into... a red laser or into that area there. A, co a connector, I mean. This is interesting, it's trying to push me. Like I said, these purple things want to push you to, to one side or the other, they don't want you to stand right in the middle for some reason. So, this- this thing is also pushing me, and that's causing the game to- to freak out. Alright, let's get over there. BFF! <laughs> Hello! What's going on here? Why can I not see that guy's light from very far? Interesting. Okay, so it looks like this guy just goes in... ...a circle, right? Oh, and here's the... What's the point of that? What is the point of that? Interesting. Let's figure this out, shall we? Deuce is a robot. <laughs> that was interesting. know what happens if I'm up there and the robot gets blown up as well. Well, you know... I could put a box on it. Oh, that's not exactly not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I think I can get a box on the robot that way. <laughs> okay, so now what happens? Am I gonna die? Oh! <laughs> Uh, it knocks the box off the robot's head. Well then... What is even the point of it? There's also another one there? That's weird.
So we've done this, right? And I think now... Well, first of all, let's see what's actually in here, right? A whole bunch of... stuff. So... If I'm getting this right... We want to find a way to blow the robot over here, right? Oh, you know what? Oh, that didn't even... didn't even do what I wanted it to. We can get the robot to go the other direction. But we only have the one fan. Hmm. is a bit of an issue. How can we get it to stop breaking that beam? We only have the one fan. This is not... this is not making much sense to me right now. I feel like I'm missing something. You know, I could just freeze it after it breaks the beam. And give everything time to update. You know, I think that's exactly the solution. have to be quick. <laughs> um... Did I break it? Game? Hello? Robo dude? Anybody? <laughs> uh, well, okay. I mean, sure.
Oh, it went on the robot's head. Nope, nope, stop. There we go. Oh wait, but... Mm, I can use that one. Okay, so... <laughs> That's, uh, interesting. Hey! Perfect! It's exactly where I wanted it to go. Stand on a box. All right, that should do it, right? Yes. All right, guys, <laughs> we will continue this puzzle in the next episode. So, as always, thank you for watching. And if you hate this and I'm a voice, leave a dislike. It's up to you. I will see you all next time. Goodbye!